What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar here from teddybaldassar.com. And today we're gonna to be reviewing another watch available for purchase on my store, the Dufresne Barton Springs 656. So I have reviewed this watch in the past on my main channel. Now we're gonna take a look at it again a few years later, a couple years later, it wasn't that long ago. So this brand is right outside of Austin, Texas. That's where they're based. And at any point throughout this video, if you are interested in learning a little bit more and maybe wanting to purchase this watch, hit the link in the description. Would love to be able to help you and make your purchase happen. So guys, let's take a closer look at this watch in a little bit more detail. So first looking at the high level specs of this piece, we have a case size 42 millimeters, thickness 12.4 millimeters, lug width is 22 millimeters, lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters, water resistance of 200 meters, Movement inside, automatic Salida SW200. We have a sapphire crystal on this watch, a screw down crown, and price of $499. Now, since launching my website, this one has been one of the big surprises for me in terms of the questions that I receive on a day-to-day -day basis, which makes sense considering just the different type of looks this one has. So a little bit of background on this brand. Steven, the founder of this, he started this back in Austin, Texas. And as I go through this watch, you'll notice several different cues paying tribute to the city, like the name Barton Springs, paying tribute to a local spring and favorite swimming spot in the area. The brand prides itself on those Texas roots and the hand assembly of all their watches is done in the United States with regulation being done by Luntech, a brand based in my hometown and is known for their attention to detail with regulation and being no nonsense with their construction. Now the Barton Springs is really the brand's flagship model and is my personal favorite from the brand. It comes in a few different case and dial options, but I'm going to be showcasing this black dial and steel case version. But for a closer look on all the other options, please check out the website. We'll have a link in the description. First, looking at this piece on the wrist, we have a watch with a case size of 42 millimeters that wears quite compact given that size. And with it not wearing to those full dimensions and wearing a little bit smaller, it will be suitable for the majority of wrists out there. On my six and a quarter inch wrist or 15.9 centimeters, it wears pretty nicely given this manageable lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters, which is small in comparison to the diameter. And it also has a nice thickness of 12.4 millimeters. The case comes with a predominantly brushed finish across the bezel, the lugs, and the side of the case, with a small exception of the polished edge of the lugs that adds an element of flash to the watch. The lugs are drilled, so it will make it easy to swap different straps on this one. But to be honest, I think I love the way that this watch just looks on the NATO especially. And despite this one that it comes with being very comfortable, I would check out other options and I do have some available on my store as well. Heading back to the 120 click bezel, we have a minimal design providing only the elements that are really needed here with the quarter markings and a central triangular marking with a loom dot within. The crown on the Barton Springs is screwed down and is signed with the brand's logo. The dial on this piece following the theme of the bezel is rather minimalistic in its design, especially for a sportier piece of this nature. The watch comes in a sunburst dial available in multiple colors and large hour numerals along the outside containing C3 Superluminova, which I don't want to understate, this thing simply glows like crazy and it does not fade away quickly either. So you're going to be getting a very legible piece that's in the dark as well as when it's not in the dark. To match the loom on the markers, it also matches with the loom filled thick pencil style hands at the center and long orange second hand that offers a nice little lollipop counterweight. At the three, we have a date window that can be changed when unscrewing the crown to the first position. And the date disc is black, which helps really well with this not clashing with the dial color here. Flipping the watch over, we have an engraved screw down case back housing the Salida SW200 within. Now for around $500, you typically are not seeing many Swiss calibers within watches unless you are a member of the Swatch Group family of brands. This one combining with the regulation standards that I know Loomtech upholds, this is gonna really outperform that plus or minus 12 seconds per day or plus or minus 30 seconds a day that you're typically getting out of the box here with these Salida movements. So this one operates at four Hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, is hacking and hand winding. So you can stop the seconds and can wind the watch through manual winding and has a power reserve of 38 hours. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're getting a lot of questions about this watch. And I think there's a lot of appeal here because it doesn't really look like basically anything else in terms of just those markers on the dial, crazy loom on this watch. Yes, we're in a very competitive price here for around four to $500, but 
if you are somebody that's looking for, say, something that's fun, something that's assembled in America, and also just as a fun looking watch that you could maybe just throw on a different colored NATO, have some fun on a summer day with, I think this is a really cool option. So guys, what do you think of this piece? If you are interested in learning more, I have a link in the description. Definitely go check it out. It's available for sale on teddyballister.com. And while you're there, definitely click around, see what else we got there. We have written content, have straps, we have watches. Definitely would love to be able to earn your business in some regard, or as well, just help you out, help you learn a little bit more about other watches and making the best buying decision. Also, if you wanna stay up to date with content that's gonna be posted on this channel, definitely subscribe here as I'm just kinda of getting the ball rolling and definitely wanna to get to daily uploads here. So I'm gonna be posting a lot of content as well. If you're not familiar with my main channel, definitely go follow me there, as well as follow me on Instagram as well. Both will be in the description. Also sign up for our written content. I'm gonna be sending you personal buying guides and things of that nature every single week to your inbox. Try to respond to as many messages as I possibly can, but I'm starting to get a little bit more messages, but I always try my best. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.